If you're anything like me, you might be getting ready for spring break and that means it's time to pack some bags. So today we're gonna to talk about what is in my everyday carry tech bag edition, everything from the bag, the computer, what else is in there. So let's get started. Now today's video is broken out into different sections and I have each one of those sections pinned right below the like button. Anything that you wanna find is gonna be right there. I'm gonna have all the products linked in the video description as well with the timestamp next to it. Now, on to the first product. First, let's start with the core of any great EDC setup, which is gonna be the backpack. Now for me, that is the Alpaca Elements Backpack Pro, which is a 26 liter waterproof backpack that is large enough to hold a 16 inch laptop and it has space and compartments for everything that you could possibly think of. The backpack features space self foaming in the shoulder straps for added comfort, a luggage pass through for convenience. It also has a quick access top pocket and a hidden front pocket, a smart internal organization pocket for your everyday essentials, as well as two exterior pockets that will fit a one liter water bottle. There's also even a dedicated pocket for your air tags, so you don't have to worry about that hanging off the side. Now, what I love about this backpack is first of the exterior material, this is in black, and this is the X-Pack VX, I think 52. On the inside of this, it is all bright orange, so you could find anything that you possibly could even think of in here because of the color. The only thing that you might have trouble finding is a orange flashlight, but that's very easy. Again, here's the interior pocket for all the organization. Here you have some mesh pockets. There is a pocket down here for the air tag, which I have mine in there. And here on the inside is where I keep the only accessory that still uses lightning, which is the MagSafe battery pack. Then I have my USB-C Gen 2 AirPods Pro with a little strap so I can always find them. They're easy to find. And then here on the top, there is a quick access pocket and I have my Ray-Ban Meta sunglasses in the Wayfair uh, style. Now I do carry my 16 inch notebook in here, which is gonna be the 16 inch MacBook Pro M3 Max. And I have it spec'd with 96 gigs of internal memory and four terabytes of internal storage. It really is almost built to the hill. I love the computer. It handles everyday activities, obviously, because it's super powerful. Uh, what I do like about it a lot is the fact that you can ramp it down in a low power mode for added battery savings and you get more than 22 hours of state of battery when you're watching video. I really love the computer. I actually have a full review coming because I've been using it here for about three months now, four months. So if you want to see that, get subscribed and that will be coming out very soon. Moving on to the interior pocket, this is where my laptop is held snugly in place in the dedicated laptop sleeve. First of all, it's suspended, so when you put it in there, it will not hit the bottom of the bag, which is actually nice. Now, in addition to my M3 Max MacBook Pro, I do carry a 12.9 inch iPad Pro that I use on a very consistent basis. And that I'm using for a second screen whenever I'm doing video editing, if I'm doing type of uh, like kind of clerical work or office work. And it's really nice for that. I also take notes on it We're using the Apple Pencil. So it's really good for that and I use it a lot. I'm, Kind of excited that they're gonna launch a brand new iPad Pro in just a few weeks here, maybe hopefully a few weeks, because I wanna go down to the 11 inch and kind of minimize my carry. But now let's go on to the inside. This is all very kind of cavernous and that's where I'm keeping all of my other accessories for that. Let's get into that next. Now, if you're anything like me and you don't know when you're going to charge and you have anxiety around charging your tech, this next item is for you. This is the Anchor Prime 27,000 watt power bank. It is a three port USB-C PD 3.1 charger for a total of 250 watts. It's got a big bright display on here which tells you how much it's charged. It also will give you some battery metrics such as the battery health, ambient temperature, battery temperature. Also unique to this product is that there's an optional base that you can set this on top of and then it will fast charge the battery or will charge the battery. And then in that charging base, you do have two additional USB-C PD 3.1 ports as well as a USB-A port, uh, which just makes this kind of a handy tool to have whether you're at home or on the go. And then whenever you wanna leave, you just take it, put it inside of the nice carrying case that it comes with. And uh, it solves a lot of problems and relieves a lot of anxiety around charging. So I would check it out. I love EDC Tech, you clearly love EDC Tech, which is the reason why you're here. Consider hitting like on this video to let YouTube know that other people who have your interests and my interests might benefit from this content so YouTube pushes it out to a broader audience. And if you wanna help me out even further, I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers before the end of the year, which is basically double the number of people that I have today. I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel so you can get more content just like this. Now, more EDC tech. Staying on the charging theme, let's talk about all the tech that keeps my devices charged up while I'm out and about traveling. First, this is the Peak Design Tech Pouch. This is the place where all of my chargers, cables, doodads live when not in use. I've learned through hard luck uh, that I place everything back in here when I am done with it. 
It is accordion style, and surprisingly, there is a ton of stuff that will fit in here, and you can still be able to close it and it takes up a small amount of space. So it's very dense, kind of like dark matter. Now, my charger of choice is this 140 watt AOE triple watt charger. It's USB-C, PD, 3.1. It's super compact. The charging prongs fold right in, and it's smaller than my MacBook Pro 140 watt charger, which I still do carry with me using only for my MacBook. There's a visual indicator on here that will tell you whether it's using fast charging, regular charging, or triple charging. And it can output to 140 watts max to a single USB-C port. Doesn't matter whether it's port one or port two. This next product is a two-in-one charger for your iPhone, your Apple Watch, and even your AirPods. Uh, that is quite small. This is the Butterfly from 12 South. And this is a unique way to charge both your iPhone and your one of those devices like I just mentioned. MagSafe compatible, so you can charge your iPhone here, you can charge your Apple Watch here. The charging puck collapses, all right? So if you wanna charge your Apple Watch in nightstand mode and look at it, you certainly can. Uh, or you can put a pair of AirPods here or on either side. It'll also double as a stand for your iPhone, so if you wanna use it in nightstand mode as well, that will work here. It does include a braided cable as well as a 30 watt charger and the additional adapters, which is very nice. Other than that, I do keep a few different Thunderbolt cables to sync either my iPad or the different drives that I'm using, you know, hold data while I'm traveling. I have the Samsung X5 drive, which is a terabyte. This is actually a really nice drive, but they no longer make it. And I am using a slower USB-C Gen 2 3.2, I think, drive from SanDisk. This is a one terabyte as well. But those are the cables that I'm using. And in case I find myself on a car, when I'm traveling, I do have this small 12 volt dual port USB-C charger. This is from, I don't know who this is from, but if I find it during the video, I'll put it on screen. Uh, but this is a dual port 45 watt charger that will allow you to charge two devices up to 45 watts. Next, whenever I have downtime, I will find myself playing games on my iPhone using my Backbone controller. Now, this is the latest version, Gen 2, and it still boasts the same sleek ergonomic design that transforms your iPhone into a portable gaming console. It's not an Xbox or a PlayStation, but it's pretty close. Now, it's been redesigned to address the biggest flaw with the Backbone, and that was the ability to use your phone inside the case with the Backbone. To connect your phone to it, very simple, just pull it apart like this, and it will use your phone's USB-C port or lightning port to connect right to it. The buttons themselves are tactile, they're responsive, the triggers are great, the directional pad on the new Gen 2 has been redesigned as well, really giving you the ability to level up your gaming performance. This is a great companion to your everyday carry if you enjoy gaming on your iPhone, it's really a must have, and the cost, you just can't beat it. Now, when I'm not carrying my backpack and I just wanna carry my personal items with me, this is what I'm using. This is the TomTok Explorer, and this is the four liter version. This really allows me to carry all my travel essentials, my keys, my phone, uh, and whatnot. Here I have an Anchor 10,000 milliamp hour Qi 2 charging battery. It has a display on the side and a power button uh, here as well. This is 10,000 milliamp hours. You can use the USB-C port on the side to charge anything else. This is very handy while traveling if you don't want to carry that big charging brick that I showed earlier from Anchor as well. Uh, here I have my AirTag, my keys, my security key, uh, which is very important. And I'm carrying my phone, which I couldn't find right now, but this is my iPhone 15 Pro Max, and I'm using it with the Gen 5 clear case from Rebel, uh, which is, I think this case is black, if I'm not mistaken. But I like this a lot. So that is everything I'm carrying with me. Uh, and this is really what's going on my person. You know, if I'm traveling, I don't need to carry everything with me. So there you have it guys, my everyday carry 2024. Now I wanna know from you, what is the essential item in your everyday carry that I need to check out? Let me know down in the comments below. My name is Mike, make sure you are subscribed because I do have that MacBook Pro long-term review as well as a new desk setup coming that you do not wanna miss out on. I'll talk to you in the next one.